Laura, tell me about uh, how you're feeling about uh, students. Very, around. very excited. My students, um, these are my students of Italian 4, Italian 3, Italian 4, and they have been counting the minutes, counting the hours, counting the seconds at Elk High School to meet their Italian friends that they've been communicating with for months. They're very excited and just, it's going to be a wonderful experience. Well, this is excellent. I'm very excited to see all these young people come to U.S. and uh, do an exchange with uh, High Elk Grove High School. And also, there's another group coming at six o'clock. They arrive and uh, do exchange with Fenton High School. Uh, I think this is a very uh, extraordinary uh, relationship for for the family, for the kids, for us, for ever extend fr friendship in Italy of such a uh, uh, sister city so I'm very very happy for what we are doing. Uh, it's a great feeling I, and, they, and Cameron you don't feel the emotions but you feel the emotions and the excitement of all the kids that came here plus the kids that are hosting them and uh, these kids are making friends that are going to be friends for life now and that's what this program is all about. You know, it's a wonderful, uh, a wonderful experience after all this work that we do, and obviously everybody puts in a lot of effort to see this. This is the uh, the icing on the cake. 16 American students, 16 Sicilian students, never having met each other, known each other, and to uh, form these bonds is just uh, an amazing experience. Us adults that can be part of this, uh, it's a uh, it's a blessing to us, and we're something uh, an organization that we're very, very proud of. So, thank you. <laughs> yes, um, so we are with uh, the, the students of the exchange and now uh, we are going to interview Mr. Medina. So what do you think about uh, this exchange? Uh, what, uh, what, which are your uh, impressions about it? Questo è fantastico, sono molto felice di essere parte di questa cultura e sono molto fortunato. Thank you. And now uh, the line on, on the start studio, I don't know uh, which is the, the word in English. Oh, oh, oh no, another interview to the to Miss uh, Miss uh, Miss Deadman. Miss Deadman. <laughs> Deadman Deadman's mom. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you mean? What I'm do you mean? excited. I'm excited. elated, and I can't wait to go out and show the world. She she seems she seems ex more excited than than the students. Wonderful, yes, yes. incredible. Yes. Everybody except my daughter. She's yeah. twice as excited as I am. Oh. Ah, okay. okay. Deadman, <laughs> Miss, <laughs> Miss Miss Deadman, <laughs> little Deadman, and Great Deadman. <laughs> I like Great Deadman. I like that one. I got a new name. <laughs> Uh, well, are you enjoying yourself here in Oak Grove? Yeah. Having fun? Yeah. The weather's been good? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> now, when are they leaving? Uh, next Tuesday. Monday we may have snow. Oh. Oh. So they're saying either Sunday, Monday we may have snow. So, but uh, they all know about Thanksgiving? Yeah, they know about Thanksgiving? Yes, Thanksgiving. Yes, they're spending it each with their respective family. Thanksgiving may be one of the warmest 
Thanksgivings we had in like 20 years. Nice. So you're going to go from, for us, warm weather to snow in two days. Mm -hmm. So enjoy. They come in the tree light in somewhere? Yes, they are. Okay, good. Uh, so that will be nice. Well, <coughs> not sure how much they know about our government. Do they know much about the no. village government? Okay, just like in Terminate, we have a mayor. I'm the mayor of Elk Grove. Um, I was also born and raised in Elk Grove Village. Um, I'm the first mayor, because a town's not as old as yours, I'm the first mayor to be born and raised in Elk Grove. Elk Grove started, it, people started moving in in 1957. Um, I was born in 1960, so uh, just a few years later. And so the town's not that old. It's a newer town. And uh, we used to have it, I think. But so, we're, unlike Termini, we're a newer town, but we have a mayor, and then we elect um, I'm elected every four years. So four years we have an election, <coughs> and you run, there's no parties. It's not, like in America, it's not Republican, it's not Democrat, it's you run by yourself. You're an individual, <coughs> which I like because then you elect people and not a party. And then when we represent the people, we're working for them, not a party. So every four years a mayor runs for election, we have no term limits. Um, do we know what term? Yeah. Okay, know that. So there's no term limits. Um, so I could be mayor forever, or until I pass away, or <laughs> <laughs> no, no pun intended. Uh, no pun intended. Or I could be mayor only as long as the people elect me, and they can change. You know, if they're not happy with what's going on, I'm out the next election. So we do have term limits. It's the people make the term limits, mm -hmm. not set by policy. Then we have six trustees, and the six trustees are also elected for four years. They run with no party affiliation also. They run independently. That's the Saudi, some of the trustees. Okay, right. okay. thank you. Uh, appreciate that. And now they run different. Three trustees run when I run, and then three trustees two years later, and that way it's stayed back. It's not everyone at one time, so it's not like one election Everyone's gone and everyone's new. And that's good because that we have some experience. And experience is important in government. Um, the first four years I was a mayor, I spent nothing but learn about everything going on. It takes time to understand and build up working relations with other towns, other government entities, and businesses, and so on like that. So that's how our government is set up. Um, and we've been very fortunate. Our trustees have been here pretty much together for, I've been mayor now, 15 years. And all of our trustees have been together during that 15 years, but one who passed away, and trustee Frankie filled in and got reelected that position. So pretty much we've worked together as a team for 15 years. And some people think that's good, some people may think it's bad. But in our role, we think it's good, because we get a lot done, we know each other, we have disagreements, which is good in government. You know, we debate, uh, argue, we discuss. But what's good about our village government is after we take a vote and the majority makes a decision, we all come together, we support it, and we move on. We don't have people doing battles or trying to get back at someone because they voted for something. We don't do that. That's not good government. So that's kind of how our government works. Uh, the mayor never votes. I don't vote unless it's a tie. Unless it's three to three, do I vote? So really the trustees carry the weight and the decision-making process. I propose items to them. They discuss and decide if they like them or they don't like them. And that's how our government works that way. Okay. Any questions that you may have about us? Avete domande per lui? Come funziona, come non? No? Have any of you ever gone to a meeting in Germany, a board meeting? No. No, perché non si vuole andare. Se posso fare un intervento, sì. Do you translate in yes. English, okay? Yes. My bad name. Yes. This is, uh, yes. This is Nino Battaglia. He's one of the teachers. Right, we met yes. Friday night. Yes. Right. Yes. 
E allora io lo ringrazio. Il balsamo, di... balsamo. Balsamo. Scusa. <ride> Io lo ringrazio per quello che ci sta dicendo perché ci sta dando una grande lezione di democrazia, cosa che da noi eh, non è ancora realizzata. He said uh, basically he's what you're doing is explaining your style of government and the way it works and he's very grateful for that for them to be able to learn our democracy because over there it's not something that's very really open and discussed. E la situazione politica in Italia è molto complessa, e lo sapete dal, da quello che si dice in tv e nei giornali. No? E cioè, proprio le difficoltà che ha incontrato la politica in Italia hanno determinato un allontanamento dei giovani soprattutto dalla politica. Ecco perché non si partecipa alle riunioni del Comune, non perché non sia possibile, ma perché non c'è più l'interesse. The style of government that they've been running, for example, doesn't, hasn't uh, engaged the young, the, hasn't engaged the population, much less the youth, and therefore not, not, it's not that it's not allowed for them to be able to participate, it's just that the way that the government has been running, it doesn't engage the people to be part of something bigger. E invece e qui noi stiamo avendo la percezione di che cosa è la democrazia ed è una cosa splendida perché mi, mi fa ritornare indietro nel tempo io sono un insegnante di greco la prima forma di democrazia nacque in Grecia ad Atene open and to the public and involved with the public. He's uh, uh, originally a teacher of the Greek culture. And as we all know, uh, democracy started in Greece. I just learned that when I was in Italy, or when I was on my cruise in Greece, that um, in, in Athens, there's a forum, they call it the forum, where everybody used to be able to reunite. And the leaders of, the, you know, of that time, if you will, would speak to the people and the people would respond back, which obviously originated our form of democracy. Not only he's saying that basically they've been studying it in the books, but over here he's actually seeing it realized. E in Grecia succedeva una cosa interessantissima, forse eh, lo faccio conoscere pure ai, ai nostri alunni yes. che magari non lo sanno. C'era una partecipazione popolare, tutti, era tutto il popolo, era democrazia, demos crateo, cioè il governo del popolo. Era la democrazia del popolo, tutti i cittadini liberi partecipavano alle assemblee pubbliche che si riunivano in una combinetta di Atene detta Pinice ed era talmente stretta che dovevano, erano costrette ad abbracciarsi tra di loro. Era una forma interessantissima per capire che la democrazia è un sostenersi a vicenda. Uh, what I just said, again, the forum, this, this, um, the way that it was also um, uh, um, situated, it was very, very tight and compact on purpose so the people would be able to stay very huddled and very together. And basically the idea of democracy is the people's voice, uh, the people's opinion, and having kind of like that um, logistically staying so tight together and making and it was basically the voice of the people of is what made the decisions of the politics and basically we've you know lost that very much again finding this in Elk Grove and finding this here in the states is something very uh, eye-opening for them uh, to see such a democracy but again going back to its origination in Greece that's kind of where obviously that is where democracy started oh, oh. She's with me. Uh, uh, nice to meet you. I'm an English, English teacher. So an English teacher? Yeah, what, what you said is a very uh, interesting because uh, I usually compare our institutions with the American and English institutions, and I can appreciate what you actually do with your democracy. And Thank we you. have a, a similar idea, but uh, as he said, not always it's possible to re <laughs> relate. Anyway, thank you. So, thank you. Uh, these are our little uh, gifts uh, for from you. From Mayor of Termini. Oh, for Ronaldo. you. Uh, uh, Did he tell sorry, about because the time it I was open. 
e Salvatore Burrafato, Burrafato, vi, ha, sì. Burrafato sì. vi ha spiegato che lui è... è e beat me in bowling. Eh, Salvatore e Mayor Jans hanno fatto hanno bowling insieme. Ah. La prima volta che gara, Salvatore è venuto qui. Uh -huh. E beat me? Sì, e Burrafato ha vinto. Hanno avuto un bel rapporto loro due. Sì, sì. Eh, sono giovani entrambi. Sì, infatti. Si capiscono. Oh, that's beautiful. You wanna... <coughs> so it's the uh, city of Termini um, at the, the exchange of the, the cultural exchange to the mayor of Elk Grove, our uh, remembrance of the second uh, student exchange, November 18th through the 29th, uh, 2011. Uh, Sindaco Salvatore Burrafato and one of the um, trustees, Angela, Dottoressa Angela Campagna. Mm -hmm. ah. <coughs> this is the letter. Questa è una lettera di accompagnamento. This is a letter from Salvatore to you. E poi un regalo della scuola. La nostra scuola è una scuola prestigiosa e è una delle istituzioni più, la più antica, l'istituzione scolastica più antica di termini. Noi produciamo cultura e abbiamo voluto fare dono di un libro che io ho scritto personalmente, una traduzione dal greco antico in italiano. Um, their school, the, this, um, uh, obviously as you know, our, the education system in Italy is just a little bit different. There isn't one specific high school, um, there isn't one specific high school freshman through senior like it is over here. So for example, they do have their high school, there is freshman through senior, but it's uh, their specialty <coughs> schools. So who specializes in the arts, who specializes in the sciences. So our schools, are, our, our systems are different. This particular school, <coughs> the Liceo Classico that Elk Grove is exchanging with is a cultural, um, uh, more uh, technicality in, in culture. So um, uh, Mr. Balsamo, as a professor, wrote this book. Um, he specializes in the Greek uh, antiquity culture, so on and so forth. So this is a gift from their school to you that he wrote. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, thank not you very much. <laughs> Here, can we get a picture? Photo, photo. Yeah. Uh, their, their, their town. Again, how we were talking about how we were talking about how the school systems are a little bit different. So, for example, these two students, mm -hmm. they go to school at the Liceo Classico in Termini, but they live in Trabia, which is a town adjacent to Termini. Mm -hmm. oh. So from their town of Trabia, their, their politics, their government wanted to extend this gift to you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Gift from the mayor of our town. Oh, thank you. Beautiful. You can get one. Mm -hmm. Photo, photo. Picture here? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so and then all the kids are coming to take a picture with you. Here, ragazzi, lui lo vuole fare tipo che vuole andare a mettere la sopra. Prendete una sedia. The mayor. She's the mayor. She's the boss. <laughs> okay, ready? Our first, our first woman mayor right here. Our first woman mayor. One, two, three. Cute. Wait, wait, one more. How's your trip so far? Sorry? How's your trip? Trip. How have you enjoyed yourself here? Ah, it, it, it's fantastic, everything. And I like it very much. Well, at the very beginning, the Sister Cities program uh, was just starting in Elk Grove in 2002, and I showed up at a village uh, picnic and I had on an Italian soccer shirt. And trustee Pat Feichter said to me, hey, we're going to Italy in the fall, you should go with us. And I said, well, I'm not really in the group that normally would go be a part of a sister city exchange. He says, no, you should go. And my wife says, let's go, let's go. And I said, well, if you want to pursue 
that that's fine i'll go I'll, so my wife contacted the village contacted the people who are operating the exchange and found out what was needed to go in exchange and we went on the very first trip from elk grove first delegation from elk grove to tamimirese and after that we got involved in the sister cities organization and uh, when the sister cities organization officially formed and elected officers. I was the first president. Uh, so everything began because I decided to wear an Italian soccer shirt to a village picnic. We've had an exchange with the high school only two years now officially. I've been teaching in the schools there since 2005 and out of that grew this student exchange that we've had the last two years. And so the first year uh, we decided to have it at Thanksgiving time. And so the second year we, uh, this last year at Thanksgiving time, we had the students come and that went even better than the first year. The first year was, was a fantastic experience for everyone. And this year we had 16 students come from Tebbim and say along with two teachers. And the students had a great time. It was a little colder than what they're used to in uh, Sicily, but not as cold as it was the first year. The first year was bitterly cold, so they had, we had kind of a mild winter, if you'll recall, this year. So um, even though we were thinking, this is not so bad, the students from uh, Tebbim and say were uh, a little chilly. They had a great time. The, the students at Elgrove High School uh, fell in love with them. They didn't want them to leave. And when the, the uh, host students escorted them to the airport, everyone was crying and saying goodbye, even though they knew they would be seeing them again in a few months, it was still difficult for them to say goodbye. Every year I go to Sicily to teach English usually about the same time as the exchange now that the exchange is happening and I take pictures and post them on Facebook and so it was a natural thing for me to take pictures of the exchange and after I started doing it at the beginning it so, I sort of it was sort of expected of me to take pictures and so uh, this year especially I tried to take as many pictures of as many different events and the parents in Italy were appreciative of the pictures I took while the students were here and the parents in uh, Elk Grove were living through the pictures that they saw on Facebook from when this, their students were in Tebbi Merese. I've been teaching since 2005 and some of these students I've been teaching since that time or just shortly after that. So I, I've known some of these students since they were in middle school for several years. Uh, last year, when I was in Tem Imerese, I helped the students prepare for a, an English exam that they were taking in London, Trinity College in London. And so part of their preparation for coming to Elk Grove Village to participate in the student exchange was to take the English proficiency test at Trinity uh, College in uh, London. And so om almost all of these students I've, I've known for several years. When the, when the students from Tamian Merese came to Elk Grove Village, the very first year we were in, participated in lighting the Christmas tree. This year we were at the ceremony, but we weren't the uh, guests of honor, but they were, they were there. They went to, uh, had, they had, we had a, a party at Coach's Corner, which has become a tradition now. We've done it two years in a row. Um, they shadowed students at Elk Grove High School, and we, um, went to the city, in, uh, went to Chicago, and went to uh, Navy Pier, and visited some museums. They went down um, 
by train on Sunday and went to the art museum, which is very important for them. The, uh, the, this high school is, um, they, have, they have different kinds of schools in Italy than in the United States. In the United States, we go to the school that, in which district we live. They choose their schools much like we choose our colleges. So they would choose a school that would fit their career path. And so this high school is a, a classical education. So they study Greek and Latin and English and literature and art, history. So the art museum was, a, was an important thing for them. They love Chicago, the tall buildings, the skyscrapers. They went to the top of the John Hancock building. They loved that. Um, they uh, walked down, uh, we went to uh, Millennium Park and they saw the bean, they got their picture taken and the, like uh, this, the reflection of the bean, they, they loved that. They went ice skating, which they really liked. They really enjoyed ice skating. The, bi the biggest activity was a, a trip to uh, Mount Etna and uh, Taormina. Taormina is a big resort city. So we left early in the morning on uh, two large buses and one smaller bus because so many of the other kids from the school went. And we went to Mount Etna and went up and there had just been an eruption of Mount Etna a few days before. So that was kind of interesting. You could still see some of the steam coming out of the, the uh, volcano. And then at, we went from the cold there was snow on the top of Mount Etna. We went from the cold down to Taormina at the, the beach at Taormina. And uh, the students actually went swimming. So they went from uh, being in the snow to swimming in, in the same day. And so they had, take, they had taken with them food and had a picnic on the beach at Taormina. And then we returned home very late that day. So that was on the first Saturday that we were there, that the students were there. And that made for a very long day. They had a meeting with the mayor of Terme Merese. They went to uh, a nearby town, Trabia, and visited the mayor there and got to sit in the council chambers at Trabia. And then we got to see a castle in Trabia that was being restored and it is a privately owned castle and and the owner is he's not repairing it he's restoring it to uh, using uh, original materials that are there and he's hoping to make it like a wedding destination where people can go and have weddings wedding receptions and the people who were with us were very excited because no one had been able to get inside and see this castle yet so we were among the first people to see the inside of the castle we also uh, went to uh, the town of Cefalu, which is another uh, resort city in uh, Sicily. And we went by train and walked around Cefalu and visited all the little shops. We went to Palermo and uh, we got in to see the Royal Palace. One of the students, uh, in Tami Merese is the daughter of a senator in Sicily. And so he came and accompanied us, actually helped us get in to the uh, Royal Palace for our tour. And then there was also another uh, official who was from uh, Tami Merese who accompanied us for most of the tour of the Royal Palace and the uh, Parliament building. And then we also went to uh, the Palatine Chapel, which was built by the Normans, uh, a very elaborate uh, little church chapel that was a private chapel for the Norman rulers, and then also to Monreale, which is a near, nearby uh, chapel to uh, nearby Palermo. Well, my dad has always been involved with the sister cities, him being the mayor. So I got involved through him and through the school because I take a tailing class. I was paired with Greta and she, her dad was also the mayor, but of Kakamo. And it was mostly on like personalities. I think we matched pretty well. I got involved uh, 
right off the bat, like my sophomore year, uh, at the time, Miss Longano, she uh, started seeing my progress in the in the Italian language, and she told me to give it a shot and to keep on taking Italian. Giuseppe, he was a uh, he was a really cool <laughs> cool guy. He was so uh, he was so happy to be over here, and I was and I was uh, always helping me out with the new things that we have over here, and we would always share music, and then he would like my music because I'm a DJ too. So it was, it was a good pair. I was involved in the Italian, uh, the school uh, class, Italian class, for all four years of high school. And um, my sophomore year, I heard about the exchange for the first time. And I was really interested in going because Italy sounded like such an amazing place. And so by the time my senior year came around and I heard about the applications for the exchange through Elk Grove High School, and then I applied with the sister cities and it was um, just pretty much a hop, skip and a jump, just signed some paperwork and uh, went for an interview and I got accepted. Um, her name is Maria Chiara and she is um, my age, she's 17 years old um, and she and I, uh, we got along really well together. Um, she's really sweet, really nice, really fun to be around, she has a lot of friends and uh, she introduced me to all of them when we were in Sicily. and. She is like my sister, she's amazing, and we had so much fun together. My teacher got me involved in this. He said that they were looking for a couple extra guys, and I was in Italian too at the time, and he said it would be okay if I did it. And he said as long as I, was, I, I wasn't uncomfortable. I was paired with uh, Fortunato Gervasi, and he was a great guy. He was literally the perfect match for me, and we got along great. I've always wanted to be involved in this program just to go see Italy because my grandparents are from Italy. I've always wanted to go see Italy and I thought it would be an amazing experience to go with my classmates and just get to know everybody over in Italy. I was paired with Marta Listi and her family is very similar to mine. We stayed in a house similar to mine and her family is very welcoming to me and I felt um, like a, family, a part of their family there. Well, my brother previously did it two years ago, so uh, he told me how wonderful experience it was, and he told he like basically convinced me, well not convinced me, like I really wanted to do it since I was in sophomore year, and um, I, I just saw the experience that they had, so I decided to do it. His name was Toto Chofalo. Um, he was um, he was basically um, well, we were physically um, different. Like he was tall, I was short. But we had like the same idea, same thoughts. We were, we really got along together. Um, a wonderful kid, I guess. Well, uh, freshman year I did not take Italian, but sophomore year I did. And Mr. Scalise was a big advocate for the program, and he was my teacher. And he knew how passionate I was about my heritage and the fact that I am Italian. So he really encouraged me to get involved in the program, and so I did. Her name is Maria Carla. She's also 18, and we're very similar. We were we both wanted to be um, biology majors, and we were both just very compatible. Where she's outgoing and loud and fun, and so we had a great time together. We were a perfect pair. My mom is well, I'm Italian, and my mom was from. She was born in Italy, and I was, I've already been to Italy, and I just really wanted to go because I saw people from before they were like really like happy and like love the exchange so I wanted to experience that and it was just looked like it'd be like a lot of fun so he was his name was Daniele and he was he was like a great kid he was like just like me it's like they made the perfect match because we were like perfect for each other and uh, we just I don't know we just got along really well we were both always outgoing and excited and happy and yeah I've been taking Italian at Elk Grove since I was a freshman and my nationality is Italian so I just thought it'd be a great experience to like be immersed in the culture and really get those hands-on experiences. Oh, Aliza, she's amazing. Um, we're like, we were immediate sisters from the second we met, um, not even met before when we were talking on Facebook and everything. I was like, oh my gosh, I love this girl. I don't even know what I would do now if I didn't know her. I talk to her all the time. She's the sweetest kid. Oh my God. First of all, we, we got there off the bat on the airport. I was just going crazy. I was like, wow, I can't believe I, I, I'm here. After so many years of thinking that uh, 
I wasn't even gonna be here. I, I landed there and then we did incredible things. Uh, we, we hung a lot in the school. The school was great. And then I, I, finally, I finally stepped in uh, Italian soccer stadium. We watched uh, Palermo versus Roma and it was great, 2-0. Everybody was going crazy. The whole fans were screaming Forza Palermo. I, I couldn't even, I was, I, didn't, I was breathless because of everybody. It was crazy. I'm so grateful for everybody that made it happen for me. The best part of the trip was um, family time. I, I think um, having, um, being inside the culture of Italy and knowing uh, um, how everything is in a different country, um, it's like mind blowing. The trip, uh, it was amazing, it was beautiful. I had the most amazing time, I got to see amazing places. My favorite place was probably Chefalu because I do have some family members from there, so it was cool to see that. And the beach there was beautiful. It was amazing. Words really can't describe how much fun we had. Um, the people we met, the culture, being immersed in the culture was amazing. And being able to finally really use my language skills, I knew more than I thought I did. And it was a beautiful place to be and I can't wait to go back. One of the most memorable things for me was the last day of the trip, actually. We went um, to uh, Adam's uh, exchange student Fortunato's country home, and we were just hanging out in his home for the night, and uh, one of the exchange students, Daniele, and Maria Chiara and Adam, and another uh, student from the village, uh, we all decided to go and climb up uh, the side of a mountain, or not a mountain, but it was like a, a large, large hill. And um, Maria Chiara and Adam decided that they weren't up for climbing the entire thing, but Daniele and the other student and I all climbed up to the top, and it was the most beautiful sight I've ever seen. Sicily is such a gorgeous island, and um, when we went up there, we could see for miles around, and we could see like three different villages, and it was so beautiful, and that really stuck out in my mind because it showed like how beautiful the entire country is, and and I wish I had been able to take a picture, but I had forgotten my my camera, and it but it stuck out as like a mental photo for me, and I will always remember that. Mm -hmm.